Okay. Yeah. So would you just go down this way? Yeah, but the brace is there, so you have to cut through the brace too. Oh. Huh. Well, get cutting. Yeah. I think it's really annoying. It is. It's supposed to go to the floor. Okay, there's a brace here that you need to get. That's what's it. Towards me six inches. Yeah, that's free. You know, I'm gonna get the other side. I'm gonna have to go outside to pull it out so we can open the doors all the way. Oh, is this little spot right here? Yeah, that's it. Alright. But if you look in there, there's a the side of the B pillar is still connected, but you know, we're gonna have to cut it out anyway, like you said, so yeah, whatever. Alright. So they just gobbled it, you know. Oh yeah, because right now I'm cutting out B pillar. Yes. So that's really the only choice I have. Gloves. Let's get some gloves. Yeah, that'd probably be an okay idea, I guess. And we'll start ripping this out. Yeah, there's brass everywhere in this thing. Oh, do they have some brass down there in that thing? Yes. That little bit of brass held it that well, huh? That's it. That's it. That's what it has. That's why spot level works so, so well. That's too bad. What? Oh, we had to go. We'll go through. Watch out! We gotta watch out for the glass. There's a lot of shit in here still. So. Oh, Alright. I'm now permanently pinned against the glass too. Yep. Alright, that looks so much better, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, those look familiar. Yep. Because we just did this, but opposite on the car it belongs in. Let's get this thing out of here. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Can I see a small pry bar?
It's not really moving that much more. This is an <laughs> yeah, it's an awkward angle. Bro, really? There it is. Oh. That goes off. Now we can see the rear floor. Yeah, this is a little bit wider in the end for some reason. Okay. This is nice. Hey. Hey. Cool. Oh, talk to the people. Yeah. I'm cleaning all the sound deadening off the place where the floor meets up with the quarter panel so I can figure out if there's any spot well to actually see what we're dealing with. Because right now it's covered in rubbery gross stuff. So, looks like it's just three rivets, so it should be pretty easy to get it disconnected. So. Can I stand on this? Flex? Yeah. Well, I just didn't know if there was like nothing holding it in really. No, it's solid. Drill has to be at an angle there, so it just keeps walking off. Dude, why is this thing so big? There you go. You bitch. So, next step in taking the back of the trunk floor out. Cleaning all the sound deadening off this piece right here. So I can find the spot welds. One, two, three. Take those off. Do the same thing down here. Do the same thing over here on the other side. Well, looks like there's a piece of patch over that, so I don't even know if that's spot welded there anymore. But we'll find out. So I don't know if I missed any spot welds, but got those three right there and those two. So I'm pretty sure that's it. And then there's just those four rivets that we'll take out when we go to take the floor out. I'm trying to get rid of this aluminum patch. So I just drilled out the rivets. And there we go. That's why there was a patch over it. So, looks at spot welds right there. There's a rivet holding the floor in. You can see it through the hole now on this side. Just finished taking the sound deadening off this inner fender. And it looks like whoever spot welded this was trigger happy. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen spot welds on there um on the other side there were like five so yeah this would be fun swiss cheese and i'm gonna like you know take the wire wheel out to the bottom six inches of the whole car pretty much just to see what work we're working with see what's underneath the paint um because nine times out, even like 99 times out of 10 if the bottom six inches is good above it is fine um and we put a magnet through the whole thing and everything seems good um so i'm gonna check that but i don't want to do it in here so i'm gonna push it pretty much where the coupe is right now so i gotta move this and then move the 32 um 
And then move that. So I'm glad it's summertime when I have this these things. If it was wintertime, it would suck. I just have to do it in here. Uh, but, you know, it would get really messy and bad for the lungs. So it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be like 60 degrees out in March. I know you can see my breath right now, but temperature is going to climb quickly, and it's going to be a great day. I am excited for it. So... Let's get to work and earn that money. Come on. Got him out today. I wish I could put the deck lid on the 32, but you know, we can't. A full walk around, I guess. Sounds in a real bad spot right now, but. You get it. Now to pull 36 out, start grinding on it. So, 36. I don't remember if I told you guys what's going on with this. Uh, this here, obviously, 36. Three window, as you can tell. Guy's owned it since he was 8 or 10, uh, which is crazy to believe. Um, needs floors. So, I'm doing my 40 floor in this. Uh, well, you pack 40 floor, but I'm claiming it is my idea. Someone's probably done it before, but no one's publicly said they fit. I know they fit. Um, so putting you pack 40 floors in this and then bottom six inches pretty much around the whole thing. Um, doing a little details, a couple rips here. We'll fix those, fix all the dents and stuff. Uh, I gotta fix that. I'm gonna take this dent out of that rear panel. Uh, I was, was gonna replace it, but it's all good metal. There's nothing wrong with it. So once I get the floor back floor separated from that, I can start knocking that back. Um, some damage at the bottom of the rumble seat same thing along this side um, and then just kind of get everything square again because this door doesn't quite fit correctly and I know it's because of the floor situation so once I get the floor under there and the brace is cut out I can kind of put it back to where it's supposed to be um, also doing a roof insert uh, you know it's just they look good, it cleans it up. You don't have to worry about uh, anything on the roof leaking in or anything from that, uh, the insert there. Um, so right now I'm tackling this cowl, kind of working my way back. Got the EMS patches here. 
Um, as you guys probably know, they suck. Uh, so I have to, that, where it ends is where it ends. And as you can see here, there's a lot more than just a quarter of an inch that needs to go underneath. So you gotta add a flange here and then I gotta add material coming off the front here and it also curves in and goes underneath. Um, it's a complex piece here and you know, I know another brand makes a better patch, uh, but right now I have this, so I'm working with this and I'll make the rest. I forgot what brand it is, but you can buy them on eBay. They kind of have the whole box here. I think it ends here. It doesn't go all, like, all the way up here, but it kind of gives you this. Um, since this is good, I'm gonna try to save this. Maybe sculpt it a little better, but um, that seems to be, yeah, that seems to be all right back there. Um, the reason this sucks so bad um, is because this isn't just a flange for nothing. Like, there's nut search that go in here that the fender bolts up onto the cowl. So that's very important. So I have no idea why they don't make that more complete. Um, because, you know, you need that. It's very important. So I'm kind of, you know, I got this all tacked up. I'm going to fully weld it, planish it out, and probably sandblast it again. I sandblasted this, um, most of it, because it's galvanized. Another stupid thing that EMS does. Sorry, guys. I keep knocking you, but I, I really don't like your stuff. Um... Why galvanize a panel? You get to weld it and then there's it off gases and it makes you sick. Like, don't be an ass. Don't galvanize patch panels. Those are for people who glue in panels. People aren't gluing in panels for these classic cars. And if they are, I'm sorry, but they're hacks. Do it right. Um, so, you know, I'm doing my thing here. I gotta make this piece and I'll make the other part separate. I'll make this whole like box a separate piece and wherever it lies on this guy, you know, I'll weld that in. Back on the 36. I know I haven't been recording much on the 36. Um, I should be, but I feel like I want to transfer more of my YouTube into like my personal stuff and my flip cars. Because I want to keep doing the flip cars. Uh, it's really fun to like throw a car together and uh, you know make a little bit of money. Uh, you can do it all over again. So I like doing that, and I. I see that you guys enjoy that more. Maybe because I'm enjoying it more. I don't know. Not that I don't enjoy working on this stuff. But it's not mine at the end of the day. So, like, the smile might not be there. It's just, like, work mode. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I'll give you a rundown of what's going on here. So, I don't know what I've recorded or what I haven't. But I have... This cow patch tacked in place. Um, I have the foot that goes here somewhere. It's probably right here. Okay. So I get this foot. The foot that's a continuation of that patch that I need to get welded on. Because this is the cow foot and the sheet metal wraps over it. So I gotta weld that there. The other side I made in one piece which is here, fits almost perfectly. See how many pieces you gotta put in there? It's a bunch of bends and stuff and it's just annoying, but you know, looks good on the back side. Um, then we got firewall in. 
I'm going to do my treatment to this. Uh, we were going to kind of... Well, he had an idea of setting back one of the firewalls. And, you know, it's just... These EMS ones work so well um, after you punch the... Well, after I punch my designs in them. It looks just like a factory firewall. And all this work is already done. It's perfectly set back. You don't have to worry about anything. So... That's why I like using these. Um, it's a shame that they put these beads in there. All I gotta do is English wheel them out and they're fine, but you know, I wish I wish they didn't do that and it was just a clean slate, but they don't have an option for a full smooth one. And I, I don't even know why they put those two beads in it. If you're not gonna put bead details in anything else and just put two straight lines at the top, why even bother? But whatever, whatever. So moving back. We got this patch in. Um, so I got this edge rolled around the back. It's not welded onto this yet. Um, it's just tacked into here. And we got this detail welded onto the patch because all the patches end flat. They don't have this joggle on it to end the bead. I know because they're probably for universal, you, know, you can use them on three windows, you can use them on sedans, you can use them here and there and everywhere. Like this guy here. Like, it's just flat. So, I make the mark on the back, fold the edge over, I cut it to length, and I put that joggle on the end so it completes the uh, door opening. And I also have a bead that I, I run this back through so it's actually the correct bead profile instead of uh, the sharp little bead that they put in it. It's not quite the shape that they give you. Got that one done. So these, these two sides done, well, tacked in place. And then the other side, I got dicumed. Dicum scribed out, and this guy fits almost damn near perfect. Um, so I'm probably going to tack this one in, and then i got to deal with closing off this back end here. Um, whoops, whoops, whoops. This guy here. So I cut here and took the sheet metal off of this bottom here. Uh, because it was all boogered full of welds when they put a Chevelle floor in this thing. And, uh, you know, all messed up. And I also cut the remaining bit of subrail and floor off of the foot. So the foot is, you know, fresh and clean. Ready to receive the new subrail and floor. That side, I think I still need to do a little bit of cutting and trimming. Uh, but not much. It's, pr it's pretty close. That side, I, I also had to... Oh, damn. Going back and forth. I had to rebuild the bottom of this here. See how this one's all routed. Um, so I was having Jacob start this one, but he's not here today. So I'm probably going to finish this one. I'll start it and finish it. I think I had him start it like right as he was about to leave. So he kind of didn't get anything done, which is my fault. I should have had him start it earlier. But... And he got the the patch somewhat trimmed out. I like to trim most of it off and leave like an inch so I have room here to put the patch where it needs to go height-wise. And usually I cut the top, cut right on where I want to put it on each end. Um, or at least one end and then the other. Because if you're making a patch and you make it fit perfectly over... The old piece it's gonna be too big and the edges are gonna stick out at least your material thickness and that's not good it's alignment issues and it's just a kind of a pain in the butt so if you cut this little end off what you make will butt up right against the old stuff right flush with it so you don't have to worry about it being over in this leftover material right here will still keep it from 
going anywhere and you can kind of clamp to it still put tech screws or clecos or whatever you want to do um, but you're still perfectly lined up on either side here so, yeah I don't know if that helps anybody with something but and I got marks everywhere where the beads supposed to be bead height on this so if that helps anybody 24 and 3 quarters from the edge of the crack right here to the top of the bead and on this it's 26 and 3 quarters from the crack to the bead and then back here 12 inches from the door it's 26 and a half to the bead oh we also got this EMS rear panel this got dented but it's like it's really nice metal so I kind of want to just bring it back and that's just a security blanket if I can't bring it back if I'm not happy with it I'll cut it out and use that um, or I might just take the corners from it I'm not sure enough blabbing about what we're doing let's get to doing and like before I might just throw a a time lapse or like a an update on this car I don't know if I'm fully gonna go into it I don't know I might I might do another 40 floor video because that's what this is getting and it should be here today yeah he said he was gonna be here tomorrow but I don't know I checked the tracking it doesn't say out for delivery yet so that means I don't trust it 